Hey students, it's Larry the Chocolate Guy here to let you know about a really special event we're starting at the school and we need your help. Hey guys, it's chocolate time. It's time to start our world's finest chocolate fundraiser. Now guys, pay attention to my video here to learn how you can get involved and help out the school and earn some really great prizes all at the same time. Now, I've got my friend Amelia, direct from Chicago, to give you some news and some information about our fundraiser. Pay attention to our video here. And I'm here to tell you about an exciting new fundraising program we're starting today at our school. To help our school raise some money, we're going to be selling World's Finest Chocolate. Do you know that World's Finest Chocolate has been making chocolate since 1939? And with help from students just like you, over $4 billion have been raised for groups just like yours. Do you like chocolate? That's right. Everyone likes chocolate, and that's why selling chocolate bars is so easy. How many of you have actually seen how chocolate bars are made? Well, before we get into all the other information about our sale, follow me to Chicago, and we'll go through the world's finest chocolate factory for a quick tour. Before we go into the factory to see the chocolate being made, we have to prepare ourselves for the journey. As you can see, safety and cleanliness are very important. Now we are ready, so follow me. She forgot about the wafer bar, though. Each of us can help our school raise a lot of money. 
If you can help us and do your fair share, everyone in our school will benefit from your efforts. And don't forget about those prizes for the ones who sell. During our fundraiser, our goal is to raise a lot of money for our school. But just like the workers in the factory, we want to be safe. So, during our sale, our number one rule is absolutely no door-to-door -door selling or talking to strangers. Plus, we won't be able to sell the chocolate to our teachers or to other students during the day. So if we can't sell our chocolate at school, and we aren't allowed to go door-to-door -door or talk to strangers, how are we supposed to sell all this chocolate? Well, I'm going to give you some secrets that will show you how to become a super seller, which will make your job of selling much easier. Every super seller knows how to sell cases and cases of chocolate, and also how to win a lot of prizes. Want to know how you can become a super seller? You ask for help. That's right. You can ask your parents, aunts, uncles, and even grandparents to help you sell your chocolate. So, if you can get some help, the adults in your life can help you sell all your chocolate. They can take the cases to their work or other places during the day while you are here studying. Pretty cool, right? You can also help sell by taking your case of chocolate with you when you go to places with your parents grandparents, or other relatives, such as going to church or out to eat, going to sports events, visiting other relatives, and people you know in your neighborhood. But only if an adult is with you to keep you safe. When you think about it, it sounds pretty easy to sell a case, doesn't it? Remember, if everyone in our school does their fair share and sells just one case each, our school will have its best fundraiser ever. Woo! All right, guys. So I know that you got the information from my friend Amelia. Now we're going to start our sale today. So let's get going. We're only going to be able to sell for a couple of weeks. So we do need to get your need your help and get started right away. Whenever you sell a whole box of chocolate, you can bring in your money and get another box of chocolate to keep, keep on selling. All right. Most important thing for you guys. Your, your teachers are going to give you a chocolate checkout form. Looks just like this and on your screen. It has all the information about our cell. Your most important thing, students, is to take this home and show it to mom and dad. Now, if you can help out our cell, ask mom or dad to sign the bottom of the form here. Bring it back to school tomorrow, and you can get your first box of chocolate to sell to keep on and help our school. Now, Helping our schools as easy as one, two, and three. Super easy peasy. Step one, you must take your chocolate letter home and have it signed by your mom or dad. Bring it back to school tomorrow and you guys can get your first box of chocolate. Now we're selling the $1 bar variety pack and it's got the almond bars, dark chocolate, crisp, milk chocolate, caramel, and wafer bars in there. Now you may have noticed, I may have forgot about the wafer bars. Now, each bar costs $1 each, and so there's 60 bars in a box. When you sell a whole box of chocolate, you will have $60. Now, remember, everyone loves chocolate. So remember to ask mom and dad and your grandparents, your aunts, uncles, your friends, neighbors. Take it to your family events, to your sporting events. Sell it everywhere. If you just ask, you'll be surprised. People will buy the chocolate. They love world's finest chocolate. Step three, fill in the collection envelope with $60. Now, this collection envelope is inside the box. Every box of chocolate has a collection envelope inside. Now, whenever you sell your $60 and you want another box of chocolate, students, sign the bottom of your money envelope when you turn it in, and we'll get you another box of chocolate to keep on helping our school and for you guys to raise more money and make some great prizes. Now, here we go, guys. The more you sell, the more prizes you can win. Cha-ching! One, two, three, four, five, even all the way up to 18 boxes of chocolate on our prize program. Now, we're selling from the prize parade. Check out all these items are going to be on the envelope that your, uh, your teachers are going to give to you. So remember, really important, be looking for this envelope and be sure to take it home and read it with your mom and dad so they know what's going on. Here's all the prizes that you can win. Remember, the more you sell, the more you win. All right. Number one, guys, on the on our checkout form, when you bring it back, your first prize is a mystery prize. Bring your form back tomorrow, and when you get your first box of chocolate, you get your first prize before we even sell it. How awesome is that? Now, 
When you sell just one box, you get my big 8-inch Squish Fast Food Pen. Sell two boxes, my pen plus the cool soft drink putty. Three boxes, retro sunglasses. I'll check out these light-up cool glasses. Three boxes, and you get three prizes plus the mystery. Already at four prizes. It keeps on going, guys. Sell four boxes, get my light-up spinning star one. Five boxes, all those plus the giant tie-dye puffer ball. Then we have our LED tumbler, 16 ounces, lights up in the bottom and illuminates your drinks. Eight boxes, 101 piece art set. This is a large item, guys, with all these cool things inside. Ten boxes, you may have seen it earlier, got the giant five pound chocolate bar. But that's not all, guys. Keep it on going. Fourteen boxes, the giant 21 inches light and sound gumball bank. 18 boxes, all these prizes, plus your very own mini LED movie projector. Hook this up to your phone, to your DVD player, to your computer. It'll show uh, whatever you want on your screen inside your room. Take it outside of an outdoor movie. Really cool. Your very own mini LED movie projector. But students, that's not all. Our top 10 sellers are going to get their choice of some great prizes as well. Look at this giant stuffed bear. How about a giant stadium chair? Kindle Fire, gift cards, scooters, ear pods, all kinds of stuff. Your choice of some awesome rewards for all of our top sellers, plus everything else on our letter. And in our bid for our big thing, special for your school, if you sell four or more boxes, you're going to get entered into a drawing for a super grand prize, a giant 70-inch flat screen Roku TV. Imagine that, students, 70 inches. That's as large as some walls in your bedroom. This would be fantastic for you and your family. So remember, if you sell just four or more boxes, get all the prizes plus entered in to the grand prize for the 70-inch TV. So remember, students, as we do our school, our school fundraiser, some of the great world's finest chocolate, we have to be safe. We do not want you to go door to door to sell anything. We have to be responsible. And that means we got to take care of the money. Remember, when you take a box of chocolate home, that's like $60. We cannot take back any chocolate. So if you can help out our school and sell the chocolate, you have to bring back $60. Now, also, students, being responsible means you have to turn in your money envelopes on time. If, you're, if your envelope is low, late, you cannot get any prizes. And remember what Amelia said about taking care of the chocolate. Do not let it melt. Still might get cold, so be sure not to leave it in front of the fireplace or the heater, and it's going to get hot again, too, so do not leave it in your car. So remember, guys, whenever you take out home the chocolate, you have to bring back the money, and you have to be responsible. Now, students, I hope that you've had a great time here with me today, and thank you so much for paying attention. We're so excited to bring our world's finest chocolate sale to our school to help out and buy all the cool things that it's going to be spent on you. Remember this money that we bring in. Keep, stays at our school. It's, it's, it's spent on you, on your classrooms, on your teachers, on fun events. So help out the school. If you can get going, it would be wonderful. Plus, you get some really great prizes. So remember to bring back your chocolate checkout for tomorrow to get the prize. Let's go have some fun and help out our school. Guys, have a super day, and we'll be seeing you soon. Thank you. Bye.